stuff and I'm all set. We were off to Dorital, a little mountain town nestled in the high Himalayas at 10,000 feet above Uttarkashi, North India. It was a one-hour bus journey from Uttarkashi to Kalyani and then once we crossed the bridge, the walk actually began. And from there, it was a three-hour steep climb and by the time we got to Agora, it was already night time, which was just as well because it would have been too hot to do it in the daytime. Hey, I'm Shankar. Hi, I'm Amit. Hi, I'm Vivek. We are finally at the 8,000-foot high village of Agora and on our way. The boys are dividing our 200 kilos of equipment and food into porter loads for the porters as well as for us. It's a 16 kilometer walk before we get to Dorital. Crossing a rickety old log bridge like this one can make one quite nervous. You never know when it's going to give way. A 2,000 foot fall into the Asi Ganga below is in any case not quite my idea of adventure. The forest, I'm told, is teeming with black bear. I wonder if I'll get to see one. Not from close quarters though. That might not prove to be a very pleasant meeting. The walk, despite being a climb nearly all the way through, has been largely through pine and rhododendron forest. It's been a discovery for us, despite the heat and the sweat. Around the next bend, and what do we have here? A tea shop. I don't think I've enjoyed a cup of tea more than now in this quaint little tea shop in the middle of nowhere. Ready with steaming hot tea and food just when you're ready to drop. Thoritaal is still a long way ahead though. We have met a very interesting local with an equally interesting tale. Yesterday, he says he was chased on his way down from Dorital by an eight foot tall and very hungry black bear that almost got him. I don't think I want that black bear meeting anymore. Balu the bear is good enough for me. We are more than halfway to Dorital. It's become a lot cooler and that really helps when you're walking uphill. What a neat little temple. One little bell, one prayer flag, a tiny hut, but no idols. Just my idea for temple. Lucky Ram says one more bend in the mountain and we're there. What a relief.
What a beautiful lake tucked away between the folds of these mountains. Toritaal, literally Emerald Lake. No truer words were ever spoken. Lucky Ram has warned us against swimming in the lake. What a pity. Several people have drowned. He claims it's over a thousand feet deep. More like three to four hundred, I would guess. Nobody knows for a fact, though. However, he says we can fish away to kingdom come. But for now, all I want to do is down my rucksack, snuggle into my sleeping bag and never, never wake up. Not so fast though, we have to pitch our tents. And I don't know how, I've never done it before. Clear morning. Nothing like an early morning of fishing. The boys are out to catch breakfast. Just seeing those fish makes me hungry. Nothing like smoked rainbow trout at 10,000 feet. Dhotital is quite the angler's paradise and boy oh boy are the trout biting. Now I'm convinced I won't starve. Master Chef Shankar Thapa doing the trout his style over an open fire with a daub of butter. Man Singh giving us some clear notes on the flute and the area around the lake, rich in alpine flowers and birds. And all this as we contemplate the trout. Nothing could surpass this. Today it's going to be a 5 km uphill climb to Darwa top at 13,000 feet. We are to go well above the tree line and I'm told there is going to be a very marked change in the vegetation as we walk up. We are going to get an impressive view of the entire Bandar Punch range from up there. I've never been so close to such tall snow covered mountains before.
we're halfway from uh, Doditaal up to Darwat uh, Darwatop, which is um, from from 9,800 all the way up to 12,000. And I can see where we have to camp tonight, and it's a steep walk up. But we've had a really lovely walk in uh, this alpine valley, and the red rhododendrons are now giving way to purple rhododendrons. And the most amazing colors on this mountainside, yellow, mustard, there's purple, lilac, just the most beautiful colors. And um, we seem to have made friends with the Monal pheasant who's flown over our heads twice this morning. It's a long climb still and the weather seems to be getting worse as we go along. Oh no, I certainly don't want it to snow now. But wait, where are the porters? They seem to have gone way ahead with all our food and gear, assuming we might want to camp down in the valley. The boys will just have to go and get them back. It's freezing cold and there's a strong wind blowing. It's 10 below zero and I've never seen such cold and there's a 60 mile wind gusting. I have to shout to hear even my own voice. Nothing seems to be worth this pain and misery. I want to go home. Oh, for a tent and some warm food. I'll even sell my soul. After huddling for an endless hour in the cold, the porters have finally arrived. I don't know whether I want to curse them or hug them. Maybe both. Sir, up! Sir! Up! Sir! Bob didn't answer. Hey, he missed the tent. So, so dirty. Bakriya Khaga. Oh, God, you are here. Yeah. Oh, and what is that one? Uh, be my baby Thank you. tonight. <laughs> and that was if it's not for you. One piece. We've been camping here since last night. It's a beautiful, clear day, and it's lovely to sit out here in the sun after a freezing night. Um, you can see Bandarpunj right behind me out there, and uh, some of the other ranges too. Um, uh, Vivek went up there last night up the mountain, and he said that uh, we could see Doditaal from up there, so we're planning to go there and see it. And some of us have opted to lay <laughs> out here in the sun. You rest for a while, okay? Yeah, we rest for a while. We are halfway up to Darwa top and we are resting for a while. The scene is beautiful from here. We can see Doritaal right below and the Kangatri range behind me. and we are at an altitude of 13,500 approximately and the view from here is uh, spectacular and we are surrounded by the snow clad peaks all around
and uh, we right now we're basking in the sun, bright sunshine here, and uh, it's a great relief to be in the sun after a chilly climb and all the snow all around. The mountains, the snow, the clouds, just fabulous. Surely this has been the most exhilarating trip I've ever taken. And to think, I used to feel that a day with my friends, seeing a movie, and eating out was fun. This trip has surely changed my mind. Life is there for the taking, and I'm so happy I took this opportunity. Yes, and who is it who said, life begins at 10,000 feet or something? I couldn't agree more. Uto, uto ja, sab yo katha karo, sab bartan bartan, sab ye biking karenge ab. Uto. We are going back to Dori Tal today. I'm going to miss being this close to all these peaks. It was quite an experience here, despite the bone chilling cold. All the same, it's going to be nice to know what the sun feels like once again. We've become rather good at identifying flowers and birds. The boys discovered a bird's nest around here, and on our way up to Darwa, we spotted 23 monal pheasants in the short span of three hours. In two days, we'll be back in Delhi. What a pity. But meanwhile, it's Doritaal once again. Hey, there's the pika, the mouse hair. I wonder what we're going to do in Dorital. Just laze around, I guess. Papa and Amit say they're going to swim across the lake. I wouldn't advise that. Uh, here we are at Dorital, and these two guys, Shankar Thapa and Amit all, they're trying to swim across the uh, Dorital, which has been never been done before. The water is freezing out here and the legend says that this lake is around 1000 feet deep. So let's wish them luck. Let's see if they can do it. <laughs> yes. That's it. That's it. That's it. It's too much. It's not impossible at all to swim this lake, except that the temperature is too low and you get breathing problem right there in the middle. After a failed first attempt where they both give up, Shankar Thapa, professional deep sea diver, surprises us all by diving right back into the freezing water. Shankar Thapa is putting his skills to the ultimate test. But I certainly wouldn't advise anyone to ever attempt this one again. Yes, Thomas, come on! Did it!
चलो पहला रिकॉर्ड है आपका सर ये बहुत गहराई है और ऐसा काम किसी ने भी आज तक नहीं कर पाए शंकर था पहला रिकॉर्ड है कि जो ये तालाब पूरा कर दिया तो इसलिए है कि कई कठिनाई से ये बच के किनारे आ गया तो ऐसा है कि अगर कोई लोग यहाँ आए तो ऐसा कभी नहीं करे दो दिल्ली के आए थे तो वो भी नौ पे गए थे वो भी यहाँ डूब गए और उन्होंने भी तैर के नहीं तैर नहीं पाए वो मर गए वहीं We are celebrating Shankar Thapa's record tonight. The boys are going to sample the local brew while the porters are hell bent on getting drunk. It's been a fun evening with lots of song and dance. Tomorrow, it's back to Uttar Kashi and on to Delhi. What a befitting end to the most wonderful experience of my life. For me, it was really exciting to be up there in wild country. And though I've seen a lot of pretty places, which you know you can drive up to, I think part of the reason why these places stay as beautiful as they are is because there are no roads. So I really hope there never will be any. Thank you.